Hey everyone, Anthony here. This is not the best lighting for my face. Not the best backdrop. Uh, whatever. Uh, so today I want to talk about, as you can see, I have four, five Spyderco Delicas here. Uh, four of them I just got today uh, because I ordered four of them to give as gifts to some of my mechanic friends and whatever. This one here, uh, back on Black Friday, uh, I was looking for a Spyderco Black Friday sale and they don't exist. So if you see a Black Friday sale for Spyderco, Spyderco or any sales like that, it's probably fake and a scam. So the website that I was on was Knife Silo, uh, K-N-I-F-E-S-I-L-O. And I was looking for the Spyderco Street Bowie and they had it for like $87. So I picked that up and instead of, and I paid through PayPal, and instead of getting the uh, street buoy in the mail, it arrived like a month after I ordered it for one thing, but instead of getting the street buoy in the mail, I got this Delica. And uh, I couldn't tell if it was real or fake when I, uh, when I first got it, even looking online and stuff. It's, it's really hard when you have even when you have two of them side by side, which I'll show you in a minute, a real one and a fake one, it's really hard to tell just by looking at the knives. So first, uh, I guess I'll start by showing you the knives. So you have to excuse, uh, I, I'm left-handed, so I have the clip thing on the opposite side. But when you look at them, otherwise they look perfectly fine. Maybe one of them is a slightly darker black than the other. I. I can't even, can't really tell or anything, but the shape of the blades look fine. I sharpened, uh, the, the fake one, I sharpened like a couple months ago or something, but then all of my new Spyderco knives I, I sharpened, so they have like a, not a factory finish on them. But yeah, just looking at them side by side. So the biggest difference you can see here, let me put this down. You can see one of them has a bigger, I guess that's like the pivot, screw or something like that one of them is bigger than the other one and if you flip it over this one it's kind of raised and this one it's more flush so if you look at them side by side you see how that sticks out a little bit there and on this one yeah not so much so that's one of the biggest ways to tell is with that like pivot screw thing there. And another thing, I don't know if they do this on all of the knives or if it's just on the newer uh, Spyderco knives, but you see this like maker's mark right here on the real one and this one doesn't have it at all. I don't know if you can tell, but even if you don't have these like up close next to each other, even like the script uh, where it says Seiki City made in Japan, like even with them up close next to each other, I can't tell the difference between them. And then the other thing on this like thumb choil, uh, we're not gonna focus. On this thumb choil on the uh, fake one, there's uh, like a little bit of a, a catch, like a lip right here. And on the real one, it's completely smooth. And on all four of mine, these I got from Amazon. Uh, on all four of these, they're all exactly the same as this one. But right here, the two boxes, this is how you can definitely tell. Hopefully, I mean, I don't know if all fake boxes look the same or whatever, but so number one, this is the real box on this side. This is a fake one on this side. This is more of a yellower uh, foil, and then this is more of a golder, like muted color foil. Uh, I think you can definitely see that on camera. So then we also have the prints. This is like bigger and up top, and this is more centered on the real one. Then we see the gray bar here, and then this is like a reddish, like you can tell the printing on the box, like their printer's not as good at making the faded colors, uh, the gradients. Another thing, I don't know if I could do this one-handed, but the box opens, like the box is like kind of loose. And then this one, the box is just a little bit more tight. So it's like more of a snug fit in the box. Next, onto the label, the real Spyderco. Uh, was I calling it a Seiko before? I, I may have been calling it a Seiko. I meant uh, Spyderco. Uh, I have a Seiko watch. 
but so the fake one came with tape over it uh, the real ones don't have any tape sealing the box or anything onto the labels uh, you can tell they look pretty close but you see the font is bold right here and the fonts not bold right here and then the real one also has made in Japan uh, written right here and uh, it's not written right there onto the other side the real one is on top and you can see the differences in the size of the prints and everything. Onto uh, this side, the Spyderco logo is centered, and uh, the fake one, it's not. And that's consistent with all my other ones, too. Then onto this side, uh, real one on top, fake one on bottom. And onto the back, fake one right here, real one right here. You can see uh, this is more centered, the Spyderco logo, the text is bigger. And then on the bottom here, on the fake one, it says printed in China, packed with 66% uh, recycled material. On the real one, it just says, uh, whatever this says, just a warning that cancer and reproductive harm. So yeah, the, the biggest difference is is the boxes. One more thing I want to point out about the, uh, the, the knives themselves because I want to see if you could tell anything in the handles, like, oh, maybe one handle is made, uh, is a little bit more rough than the other handle. But we see this fake one down here. It's, it's pretty smooth. I mean, there's like a little bit of lip on here. On the real one, I'm not sure if it comes off on camera that well, but there's definitely a bigger lip. So like the real one, it's, it's less finished. Uh, it's less as smooth. So, but back to the boxes, I didn't even look inside of them yet at the paperwork. So I'll do that now and then get back to you if I see anything. Okay, so fake one is on the uh, on the left, real one is on the right. So first is bubble wrap. This definitely feels like a chintzy, cheap bubble wrap. This one feels like definitely like a bit smoother, a bit thicker, a bit more protective, like more quality. Uh, this just is like your generic run-of-the-mill bubble wrap. These foam pads, the real one feels a little bit softer. This one feels a little bit more dense, but nothing you can really tell. And then onto these, you can definitely tell one is more faded than the other. And it's not just like the overhead lighting because we switch them. And you see the same thing. But And then the back, yeah, so the back looks like this with the red text. Uh, this is a fake one. This is a real one. I guess it has like Instagram and everything. Register. I wonder what this QR code means. Let's go look at it. So the QR code does take you to the Spyderco warranty website, but it's redirected by a bit.ly link. So I don't know like if that's uh, actually the best. So the other thing like on the inside here, the font sizes are different. So if we see like right here, it ends with... Uh, it ends with uh, the pivot mechanism. And on the real one, it ends with, uh, see the, there's an additional line right here. I mean, I don't really have to show you guys like all this stuff, but yeah, that's the end of this video. Hopefully it's helpful. The main differences that I see are in the box. And I don't know too, like maybe, maybe I did get like an older version uh, Spyderco knife and where their printing quality was worse. Uh, I guess that could be a possibility. Uh, maybe I have an old version of a box or something, but I don't really think so. Try to look for a date or anything on it. Here's another big difference that I just noticed too. On the inside box, this is the fake one and that's the real one. Uh, so there's a big difference there too. But yeah, like I was saying, the biggest difference is just in the boxes. And I don't know if they, uh, I don't know if they just have better, like, I don't know if I got an old model that they had like worse printing equipment or something back then, or if I got an actual counterfeit one. So the website that I ordered from Knife Silo, there was uh, other posts on, I think, blade forums of other people getting scammed by them and not getting their items, getting the wrong items. Like I ordered a, uh, I ordered a street buoy and ended up getting this fake Delica but then there's other people who say that they got fake knives from them too. So I'm leaning towards that I do actually have a fake one. But as far as like the knives side to side, just this like pivot, uh, we're not gonna focus, but just this like pivot, uh, the pivot wheel thing. And then, uh, then this mark right here, which I don't have a hand to focus, but you saw it earlier in the video. 
So that's it. Hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. Take care. Thank you and goodbye. Mm -hmm.